Hi guys, okay, so um, I'm gonna try to film this real quick because uh, I was gone for two months and so I bought a lot of books in that period, but also I am subscribed to like a lot of podcasts and they've downloaded and now there's no space on my computer so I just filmed this and I got to like the five minute mark and I ran out of time and I wasn't really close to being done so I might do two parts. Uh, we'll see, I don't want it to be over ten minutes so if I get to the ten minute then I'll and do it the second half. Um, but yeah, so I got a lot of books, guys. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to do reviews on the ones that I've read um, sometime next week, hopefully. Um, things are kind of still really crazy for me. I don't know if you could tell I'm sleeping on a pull-out sofa. So um, the first, start at the beginning. The first book that I bought was actually not in Europe. It was at the JFK airport. And it's The Childhood of Jesus by J.M. Coetzee. Coetzee. It's a South African author. Um, I have read other books by him. I've read Disgrace, which I really, really liked, and Slow Man, which I really liked as well. Um, I brought my Kindle with me with the intention of being really good and only having my Kindle to read, which I think next time I'm going to do probably, but I just like couldn't focus on, I think it was the plane maybe, I, could, I, could, I couldn't focus on the Kindle, so I had to get a real book, um, and I got this one, I enjoyed it very much, and then um, the first place that I went to with Chelsea was Dublin, and the first book that I purchased in Dublin was The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Um, I'm just in case you don't know for some reason, but I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it before. I'm trying to, I was trying to buy books by authors from the countries that they're from. So like Irish authors in Ireland, etc. Um, that didn't take a hundred percent of the way through, but for the most part. Um, so the picture of Dorian Gray. And then it was also Bloomsday. I think it's Bloomsday. Yeah, Bloomsday. It was um, June 16th when we were in Dublin, so I picked up Ulysses by James Joyce. I have not started this yet. Um, uh, when I was purchasing it, the couple behind me literally said, good luck. And I, yeah, I'm going to need it. Uh, I've heard it's very difficult. Um, and then since I purchased that, we went to another bookstore, and I was like, I want to buy something, but I didn't want to buy another book. So I got a literary journal um, called Ciphers. I'm pretty sure it's a literary journal. It looks like there's a mixture of everything. I haven't read this um, I don't know why, but it looks like there's like a mixture of short poem or um, short stories and poem and then some artwork, I guess. And then I also got this Romping Through Ulysses, which kind of talks about Ulysses and like how to dress for it and it gives you maps of like the places that they go to and stuff. So I'm also really excited. The next time that I go to Ireland, I definitely want to do Bloomsday. I definitely want to partake in Bloomsday activities because it looked super fun. So after Ireland, we went to Spain. Um, in Spain, the first book that I bought, uh, not by a Spanish author, uh, is El Amor en los Tiempos de Colera by um, Gabriel García Márquez, who is from somewhere, not Spain, Colombia. He's from Colombia. So um, I'm really excited to read this. I just wanted to get something in Spanish to practice my Spanish. I also got um, Death in the Afternoon by Ernest Hemingway. I have never read anything by Hemingway. This um, has to do with Spain and like his time in Spain, I'm pretty sure. So I figured, perfect, why not? And then I also got this one, which is, I'm pretty, yeah, born in Madrid. I bought it in Barcelona, though, but um, this is an author from Madrid. Um, Almuden, um, Almudena Grandes, el lector de Julio Verne. I don't know how to say Verne with the Spanish accent. Um, Yes, this has something to do with the war, and the it says the summer of 1947, so probably some serious stuff. Um, and then I went to Italy next. This is where I started. Well, I guess I already started by getting a book from South Africa and a Colombian author, but um, I started to get a little feared off. Um, I have no idea what order I bought these books in. Just saying. So I definitely got this at the Coliseum Bookstore, though. It's um, Christian, The Christians and the Fall of Rome. It's one of the Penguin's Great Ideas books. And I really want to get all of them. They're, it's like the great loves. It's just like very tiny. Um, and they all look super interesting. And I also got um, Italo Svevo. I don't know what I say. Italo Svevo. <laughs> Zeno's conscience. Whatever, guys. I don't know what is happening with me. Um, I thought this cover was really interesting. I don't know what it's about, though. And then I got... Um, it, why does everyone have the same name? This is Italo Calvino Il Visconte di Mezzato, which is like the count cut in half. The guy said it was like an easiest read in Italian. Um, 
I don't know, because I've never really read anything in Italian, so first times, ooh. Um, and then I also got another one in Italian, which is Chiara Valerio, La Gioia Piccola d'Essere Quasi Salvi, which is uh, the small joy of being almost saved, I think. No idea. Um, so yes, this also apparently, oh wow, the font is gigantic, so that's good at least. And then I got some books that were not <laughs> Italian at all. This is The Salmon Who Dared to Light... <laughs> The Salmon Who Dared to Leap Higher by An Do Hyun, um, Korean author that I already searched for the translator and I couldn't find the translator. Oh, which reminds me. Maybe I should tell you guys who's the translator of this one. Translated um, by William Weaver. It's translated by William Weaver. Um, oh my gosh. Sorry. Um, and then I got Sarah Waters, The Little Stranger, which was fantastic. And Consider the Lobster by David Foster Ross. I feel like you can tell which books I read because they look like demolished. Jake is actually reading this now, which is really funny. Mm -hmm. And then after Italy, I went to Greece. In Greece, I just went and I got, um, I, yeah, I'm going to have to make this video in two parts. Sorry, guys. Um, I went and I just got a bunch of, I got like all the little black classics that were written by Greek authors. So this one is um, number 61. It's Aesop, the Dolphins, the Whales, and the Gudgeon. This is the only one of them that I've read and it was so good. Aesop is just brilliant. Um, and then there is number 18, Apol Apollonius of Rhodes, Jason and Medea. 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 Um, Homer. This is number 70, um, Circe and the Cyclops. I started reading this one, but I kept getting distracted. Like, um, it was a perfect size to keep in my purse, but I, I, I couldn't focus for some reason when I was on public. I think I need to, like, concentrate on it. This one is number 52 by Plato, Socrates' Defense. Um, and then um, number 55, Sophocles, Antigone. I'm pretty sure. This one's number 43, C.P. Ka Kavafi. I think this is the only one that's like modern day. Um, remember body and I'm pretty sure it's, yeah, it's poetry. Um, nope, just kidding. He died in 1933, so this is not new. Sorry guys. Um, and then 74 by uh, Sappho, Come Close, which is also poetry. And I'm pretty sure the guy told me that she's like a lesbian and the first lesbian poet. I don't know whatever it sounded exciting and then the last one is number 78 Herodotus uh, the madness of Cambyses um let me think where did I go I want okay I can do I'll do two more books and then I'm going to cut it and then hopefully be able to finish the rest in the next video um the next place that we went after Athens was Budapest and I got uh, Quarantine in the Grand Hotel by Geno Regto, um, translated, boop, here, translated by Estvan Farkas, and I read this one too, and this was like a really fun, um, murder mystery, and then I also got Men Mendelssohn, Mendelssohn is on the roof, um, by Jerry Wheel. You can see that, and it says, with a preface by Philip Roth, uh, let me see who translated this. Translated from the Czech by Marie Wen. Did I mention I got it in Prague? Oh, it's from Prague, in case I forgot to mention. Uh, okay, so I'm going to cut it there and then do the rest of the books in a part two. Did not realize how long this is going to take. It's because I talk a lot. I'm so sorry. <laughs>